Hi everyone, my name is Noel, and I'm doing a very short video on how to find a place to travel when you're going on vacation. Uh, one of the places that my wife and I frequent is the Dominican Republic, specifically in Puerto Plata. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Puerto Plata is, is Spanish for Port of Silver. It's the main port coming into the country of the Dominican Republic. Uh, we have been to Jamaica three times, we've been to Mexico three times, been to Cuba three times, but we continue going to the Dominican Republic. One, because they just love their country. They want you to embrace it with them. They want to teach you about their dances, their way of life, their heritage. They're absolutely beautiful people. Uh, the way you go about finding where you want to go is when you're going onto the travel sites and you're looking at countries, hotels, a lot of people are just looking at price and definitely you don't want to break the bank. But I have found that the best bang for your dollar is the Dominican Republic. The quality of the food, the quality of the people, and the absolute beauty of the country itself, it's, it's so worthwhile going. Now, when you want to choose your hotel, you need to check reviews carefully. And I find that the best site for the most accurate reviews is TripAdvisor. Now, I'm not being paid by TripAdvisor to recommend them. This is generally and honestly where I go to check my, my reviews. Checking the reviews has never, uh, never received a bad hotel. And when I look at the reviews, I also look at the reviews during the time of year I plan to travel. When you look at reviews and you might get something that's in very low season, what you're going to be getting is people that are not happy with the hotel. Very rarely do you find somebody that is ecstatic about the beauty and what the hotel has to offer. When you're in low season, you're going to have less restaurants that are going to be open. And when they do have these restaurants open for the a la carte, what you're also going to see is people will complain that, well, it was the Mexican one night and then there wasn't Mexican the next night. Now it's the Japanese or it's the steakhouse. They're not in high season. They're not going to have full staff doing anything, whether it be cleaning, working the restaurants, doing your grounds, you're limited. So you have to expect that. The other thing you got to take a look at is the time of the year that you're going. If you're going to go during that country's wet season, which is generally their hurricane season, you're going to be looking at times of going between September to late October, possibly early November. Like we are in the Western countries, I'm in Canada. I'm actually from Winnipeg. Uh, what you're actually going to find is they have their seasons like we do. We have our winter, we have spring, we have fall seasons. So they have a rainy season. And if you're going to go during that time, the prices may be lower, but you've got to take a look at what you're getting for your money. Least amount of precipitation is between the months of January, but specifically late February, early March. Your temperatures are going to be roughly on average around 28 degrees Celsius, but I've been there where for two weeks it's been as high as 35 degrees Celsius every day. Uh, thank God there's an ocean that's nearby because when it's really hot, you're jumping in there. So these are some of the travel tips that you've got to look at when you're booking your vacation. There's a lot of different travel sites. So now what you also got to do, which I highly recommend, if you're going to be booking closer to around September, October area, definitely grab the cancellation or the, uh, there, there's a part there like Sunwing has where you can change your lowest price guarantee. So if the site you're on does offer lowest price guarantee, it's like $49 Canadian. It's worthwhile grabbing that because when you're constantly looking at your sites, you might see that all of a sudden the hotel that you've picked has gone down $200 a person. Well, that $49 that you spent to get the lowest price guarantee was well worth it because now you're going to save a lot of money going to that hotel that all the research you've done is where you want to be. So these are tips on saving money. Uh, when you get to your resort, you're going to see there's a lot of cabs that are going to be around when you want to go and do excursions. 
what I have found is that hotels are very pricey for excursions. But there is a lot of other little touring companies that are around that have great, great excursions at definitely prices you can bargain at. At the hotel at your resort, you're not bargaining. They're going to tell you that, oh, you're not insured and you got to be careful on what you're doing. Well, I have travel insurance in Canada, and I'm very fortunate that my wife and I both have it through our work. So I am covered if there is something that's going to happen during my vacation. Um, be picky. And some of these things that you're going to be looking at are free to get in. There's one that is the Porta Plata tour where they bring you to the rum factory, they bring you to the cigar factory, they bring you to an amber museum, all of these different little sites. They bring you to Fort de San Felipe, which has a cost to get in, but it's very minimal. So depending on your resort, you could be looking between $100 and $120 US per person to go on this tour. But majority of these places have free admission, such as the Brugel Rum Factory. Uh, why would you go and spend that kind of money when you can hire a cab for the day? And if you've got family, you're going to split the cab and you negotiate the price right outside the gates with the taxis that are there. And you don't pay the taxi until he brings you back to your resort. Because if you pay them up front, there's a chance that they've already gone and they're not picking you back up to take you back to your resort. They will be with you for up to eight hours. They will ask you how many people you have in your group and how long you want to be with them because they also have to earn their money also. Price of fuel out in the Dominican Republic is right on par with the fuel that we have in Manitoba. And right now, depending on where you're going, we'll pay up to $1.45 a liter. And that's what they're paying there. They don't make near the money that we do. They give you good service. Offer them lunch. They may not take it, and a lot of them have their lunch with them for the day. But do the right thing. Offer them something extra because you are taking a good portion of their day. And you're going to save a lot of money in excursions. Uh, one of the excursions that I absolutely love in Porta Plata is doing the Jeep Safari. And depending on who you're doing it through, there is more than one part of the location of what you're doing. You may be going into a little village where they have schools. Yeah, you're going to see some of their different sports. They're going to see them making their artifacts. You're going to see them making cigars. And you can buy these for much less than if you were buying it right in the city, especially at the gift shops. Gift shops are highly expensive. So be careful where you're getting your money. Now, Dominican, if you're going to a bank, they will take Canadian money. They will take American money. They'll also take euros. What I found is instead of getting American money, paying your service fee and your exchange rate, and then going to the Dominican, when you go to bargain something, they'll ask you, do you have U.S. dollars or Dominican pesos? Well, Dominican pesos, that person, that vendor, doesn't have to go to the bank and do an exchange and lose money. So what I do in Canada is uh, for this trip, at the time of exchange rate, I bought 9,000 Dominican pesos, which was $231 Canadian. I have that, but I know that I have to pay $20 US for airport taxes to come back home. So I have $150 in US cash, which is going to cover my departure taxes to come home and for tipping and different things around the resort. So that's how you're gonna save some money on your currency. Go to your currency exchange. We have one in our St. Vital Center Mall. There's a currency exchange company in there. Their fees were only $3.75 compared to my bank, which was $8. So I saved money on the fees. The exchange rate was the exact same. So you save a little bit of money. So these are little tips that you've got to do to kind of make your trip more enjoyable and less expensive. I'm going to try and post more things. I will try and post on different hotels that I've gone to. Uh, this is new to me. This is my first video. As you can see behind me, I'm in my office area. I'm a Winnipeg Jets fan. I've got all of my pictures of different players that are on the wall. And even my jersey says Winnipeg Jets. So from Winnipeg, Manitoba, my name is Noel. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video and it's got some information for you. 
If you like it, give me a thumbs up. And if not, hopefully it still helps you out. So you guys have yourself an awesome day. And when you're on vacation, keep safe and keep healthy.